Hey everyone, Cool's Dad here, coming to you from Japan again. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating an interesting product. It's called the Swimava, which is a inflatable ring that you put around the head of your kid so he can swim. So we're going to actually try it out on our kid who is now almost two months old. Um, and let's take a look at this thing. So first of all, it's actually from the UK. It says here, uh, designed in the UK made in China, assembled in China, um, and uh, it was about 30 US uh, here. And so since it's a Western product, but in this case specifically marketed to Japan, actually says it has a Japanese language guide, and all the info on the back here is in Japanese. So this one is actually made for anything from zero years up, um, and uh, they actually have a, a larger size, but here it says this is regular size, uh, and this is up to 11 kilograms or 18 months. So I guess we could keep using it for a while. So let's take a look inside. So it comes in this zipper case, I guess, so you can reuse it um, between baths. And first of all, so it comes with a small pump for inflating it. And we have the ring itself. So the insert is all the kinds of uh, things you need to watch out for, make sure that it's fit right, etc, etc. Make sure there's some space around the kid's neck. Uh, and let's actually take a look at the device itself. So they actually had different versions uh, for boys and girls. We've got the kind of boy themed one, which is uh, cars, airplanes, rocket ships trains, etc, etc. Um, so it's basically a ring with uh, a cutout for the kid, I guess it goes around the kid's neck here. There's some vinyl straps which click on the top and bottom. Uh, let's see what else. There's um, some handles. I guess the kid can grab onto it or you can drag the kid around with it. Um, and then the other kind of notable thing is uh, there's some bell kind of rattles inside here, which I'm guessing once I inflate it will sort of roll around in here. So uh, it's also interesting to note, oh, there's some here on the bottom as well. Um, interesting to note there's actually two different valves so I guess you have to inflate the top and the bottom separately. Let's give it a try. So, pump. Okay, so here we go. I hope you guys had fun watching that at high speed. Um, so this is what it looks like inflated. Now you can see the balls rolling around. Uh, while I was inflating it, uh, I noticed a couple of interesting things. Uh, first of all, um, it is a separate top and bottom compartment uh, for the air, which I guess is good because it's fail safe in case one of them pops, your kid's not gonna sink. Um, again, keep in mind that this you know, at least in this case, it's being used in a swimming pool, so, um, you know, it's a little bit further to the edge than maybe if you're just using it in a uh, bathtub. Um, and uh, only took a couple minutes to pump up, um, saved yourself some breath from having to do it manually. Um, the other interesting thing is it says here in English on the bottom, do not lift infant with the handles. On the other side, it says here, handles are for infant use only. So I guess the kid's wearing it like this, and then he can put his hands up here. Um, I guess like this, actually, I should say. Um, and so uh, he can use it to sort of maneuver and keep his balance while he's moving around. Um, the other thing is this is actually the chin rest here. Um, and uh, it says that this is a regular size. Um, here in, in Japanese and English. Um, 
it actually also says uh, never leave your infant unattended in water, which obviously makes sense. Uh, stop using immediately if infant's chin slips below the chin rest. So if your kid's head is not big enough to stay on the top side of here, or his neck is too skinny, I guess, and he can slip out, obviously stop using it because there's a chance he could sink or start choking or get himself stuck. Always check for any air leak prior to use. Obviously makes sense. Um, got some audio visual feedback here with the balls going around. Um, looks pretty cool. It's uh, pretty decent even with the thing unlocked, uh, un unstuck. It's not leaking unless you, unless you squeeze, so that's good. It's a little bit safer. I'm kind of surprised they didn't come up with a better design here on the back. You've got to kind of keep this thing jammed together if it like when I was inflating it it was it was like this and so you get this kind of spiral shape and so potentially like if it were to slip this would get tight around the kid's neck maybe I think um, but that's what these things are these straps are here to keep that from happening but I don't know if that's the best way to design it um, I guess either way you're putting something around your kid's neck so you better be careful okay so let's go over to the bathroom and see how it works in the bathtub Swim. This is the swim Nava in action. Uh, he can actually touch the ground a little bit, so he's not really swimming, but basically he's being supported by his neck with his collar, and he doesn't look super happy, but definitely not crying, so I think it's interesting for him. Like being back in the womb. So, hope you enjoyed our unboxing and review of the Swimava. Um, if you have any comments or questions, if you used this before, if you like it, if you don't like it, please leave a comment. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Okay, so that's the uh, Takara Tomi one-way baby monitor with night lamp and with this cool visual uh, volume sensor.